Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Sunday evening and I'm going to be finishing this bad boy off. So let me just get it in the tripod. So this is it lined up on the bench and you will notice, interestingly, that even though the bearing is not connected in any way, I you can take it off and put it on. When I spin it, it will cause the whole shaft and the bearings to spin, just the weight of it. see the bearing at the back spinning one thing I like about these bearings well it can be a good point and it can be a bad point uh, is that they don't have to be perfectly aligned to still work properly because there's some kind of gizmo inside the bearing housing so you'll notice I've put a square here to show how out of alignment it is doesn't seem to make any difference to it at all it may cause a tiny little bit more friction I'm not sure but that isn't gonna bother us because we're gonna have nice and straight anyway I got some lovely thick sheets of steel that were in the other shed they weren't in the fire they were somewhere else these are let me just get my calipers Let's have a look just about 10 I guess with the rust a little bit more than 10 so I've got three of those the hard discs are eight eight mil so I don't know maybe I use them maybe not I don't know but I'm gonna leave them on the fire and uh, let them get dry out let them dry out and then see if we need them or not How's the barbecue coming along, kid? Yeah, good. Oh, not so good. Tastes a bit rusty, Dad. That's all right, son. It's going to be fine. Plenty of minerals. That's some sure thick-ass bits of metal. If I could weld them, that would be epic. In this light, you can see the moisture burning off them. That's probably oil, so I'm going to let them get on with it for 20 minutes. So, I've been sitting here for about an hour trying to think of how to proceed. And I'm going to do away with the discs entirely. And I'm going to weld the plates straight to the bearings. So let me just mark that up and show you what I mean quickly. So, the discs will live to fight another day. Uh, I'll put that one on top of the burner for a few hours. Uh, we've got some fresh air coming in, get the paint off it and make it look a bit nicer. And then the other one will still go ahead and chop the... Uh, jacking bolts off for sure this is how it's going to be pretty much so yeah it's going to take a lot of measuring up and thinking about but it's uh it's going to be better than what i had planned before and like i say the two discs survive him nodding accordingly so yeah let's uh think about this first thing i've got to do so you can see the plate here and all I need to do is make sure that all three things have the equal amount of space here before the blade starts and that they can have bolts go through so I need to leave at least a 20 mil off here you see over from that and then once that's done that's the hardest bit of it I think obviously need to make sure it's perfectly lined up uh, and then it's going to be line it up in the drill press and drill all the holes do it that way so sweet and just a quick reminder as all the holes are different in each set of blades if you put them on top you wouldn't be able to see through the sets of holes So what I'm doing is I've marked up each blade and each plate with their own A, B and C. And now I'm going to get this nice and flush and drill the holes. Tighten up the old clampy a bit. Okay. 
washing machine till I get down, yeah. Nice. But that don't look so level. How do me? This Milwaukee red hex drill bit is pretty bad. I forgot. Ooh. Some nasty fumes from the fiberglass. So I might just start them off and do it on the drill press. Just want to see the bottom edge of the metal here poking out. You can see it here. This is the edge of the blade. We just want this bit poking out. We've got the line we drew here. So as long as we're on that line, then it's pretty much square. very impressed by this Milwaukee uh, red hex drill bit. I'm not 100% sure how much life it's got left in it. We'll soon find out. So we're just going to pre-drill these. We're getting a lot of nasty dust and smoke coming out because of the blade. So all I want is the very front tip of the drill bit to leave an indent in there and then we'll get it on the drill press. Also, just want to say that these holes aren't perfectly perpendicular they were drilled at a slight angle by hand so if you see them poking out the wrong way that's why let's just get another clamp on here See what I mean about those little indents in the middle where the first bit of the drill bit kicks in. One reason I wanted one of these drills is that drilling by hand destroys my forearms. So one of these drills, if stuff can be done in there, it's just way better. Way, way better. Yo, what's up? It's Monday night and I'm going to do this beast. The blade hub. So first, I need to get my protractor. My paper protractor. I'm using a pencil so the marks are nice and clean. Do the line as long as we can for now. That's the first little bit. Spot on, the mark out 60 degrees. One eighty. One twenty. 
So the six is this one, two, three, four, five, six. Now what we've got here is we've got this top bit with slightly more of a bevel. <clears throat> so ideally I want to stick them on this bit. Uh, if these will join when when these are joined together, they're a tiny little bit too big. So I was thinking about trying to space them out a bit with some nuts. Let me just get some nuts. What I'm thinking is. If I could correctly weld those on, it gives us enough clearance for this to then go over the top and be welded on. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to spend a few minutes laying it all out. Uh, I've got to grind off, clean up some bits, and then do it that way. Obviously that won't be the only thing that's holding them on. What I want to do is get them in one piece, perfectly flat and as laid out as possible. That's the idea. up so I got this welded up how I wanted to uh, with the stick welder everything's good it's all flat and now what I've got to do is flatten off the weld so that this surface can be the one that mates with this surface yeah so this side needs to be perfectly flat so I'm going to get the grinder and do that Getting the mask on, so I'm talking a bit funny. Let's see how it picks up. 